iOS 26 is here and it's completely changing the way your iPhone looks and feels. Let me show you the coolest M dates you don't want to miss. Alright, first up, the brand new liquid glass design. Look closely at the icon. Does you see how they shimmer almost like glass? As I swipe through different pages, notice how their reflection and depth follow the movement. It feels more alive than ever before. Even when I long press an icon, the glass effect doesn't break. It smoothly adapts to a pop-up menu like it's part of the surface. In iOS 26, Apple brings a whole new way to make your iPhone feels personal with full home screen style. The default style is a classic iOS look, balanced and familiar, perfect if you like things simple. The clear style makes the entire interface feel like transparent, almost like the icons are flowing. Minimalists will love this one. Switch to dark and everything take on a sleek, low light design. Ideal for night use or if you just want the futuristic vibe. And then there is Tinted, a smart mode where your wallpaper's color influences the entire interface giving your iPhone a unique mood every time you change the background. With just a long press, you can completely transform how your iPhone feels from professional to playful in seconds. Ok, let's move on to the lock screen. And this is where is iOS 26 feels completely alive. See how the clock actually reacts to the wallpaper? The time isn't just sitting there. Is blend with the background. And now, adding a widget, it feels natural, like it's a part of the scene. No more clunky block, everything flow. And there is the magic, death. Notice how the subject in the wallpaper comes in front of the clock. It's like a screen knows what's important. I can set up multiple lock screen and just swipe between them, each one alive in its own way. It feels more personal than ever. Now let's talk about widgets, because in iOS 26 they finally feel alive. Check this out, I can play or skip music without even opening the apps. Even reminders work alive now, tap and the task is done, it feels instant. Here is notes. I can quickly add something right there. No need to jump into the full app. Widgets aren't just static anymore, they respond. And the best part, each widget is interactive, so your home screen becomes more like a control center for your life. Welcome to the brand new control center in iOS 26. It's completely redesigned. Everything is cleaner with sections that feel like floating cards. Now every button can expand with a long press so you get quick setting instantly. And finally, it's customizable. You can rearrange toggles, add new ones, even from third-party apps. You can drag any icons in Control Center to wherever you want. It feels personal. Even small things like the flashlight animation got a refresh. It's smooth and fun. Notifications in iOS 26 look completely different now. They flow like a bubbles instead of staking in a list. Each alert feels alive, bouncing slightly as you move. And here is the best part, 
You can grow bubbles by contacts, making conversation much easier to track. Or you can bundle them by apps, so instead of chaos, you get neat clusters. Tapping expands the bubble with smooth animation, almost like opening a mini app window. And clearing them feels faster and more natural, thanks to the new fluid motion. Safari in iOS 26 has received one of the most beautiful updates yet. The address bar and tabs now use the same liquid glass effect, blending seamlessly with your wallpaper. But the real magic is in the new tab switcher. Instead of flat cards, tabs now move in a smooth 3D animation, almost like flipping through windows in space. And selecting one feels more immersive, with fluid transitions that make browsing faster and more fun. Even dark mode looks fresh here. Safari feels like an app from the future. The camera app in iOS 26 has been completely redesigned for simplicity and speed. Switching between modes is now smoother with a cleaner and more intuitive layout. The old clutter top bar is gone. Now controls appear only when you need them. All advanced options appear with quick gestures, so nothing distracts from your shirt. Even recording feels more cinematic thanks to subtle animation touches. And yet, the new design adapts beautifully to both light and dark temps. The setting up in iOS 26 has a fresh air design with modern icons, but the real power is in new smart search. Just start typing, and iOS instantly highlights exactly where the option lives. No more scrolling endlessly, the system guides you directly. Even deep customization menus, like display and brightness, are now faster to access. Each section now feels lighter, easier to navigate and better organized. It is small details like this that make daily use so much smoother. Let's check out one of the coolest updates in iOS 26, Emoji and Genmoji. Now, when you bring up the keyboard, you'll see something new in the emoji section. Tab's new plush button, this is where Gemoji comes in. It lets you create totally unique emoji in seconds. You can type what you want, like robot cat or pizza with the sunglasses, and the iPhone generate a custom emoji instantly. It even gives you multiple variations to choose from. When you have made your Gemoji, you can use it anywhere in messages, notes, or even third-party apps. It feels like using a regular emoji, but it's 100% your creation. Of course, the standard emojis are still here, but iOS 26 adds a whole new level of personalization. This is Apple taking personalization to the next level. Emojis that no one else has, made by you. There is some of the biggest updates in iOS 26, but trust me, there is still more hidden inside. Make sure you are subscribed, because in the next video I'll show you the secret tricks that Apple didn't talk about.